Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com, where we engineer our learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon, and today what I want to do is, is um, demonstrate to you in Microsoft Word 2003 and 2007 how to populate fields, basically, after typing in just one. So, one of the, basically what I'm saying is, is that one of the videos that people have been asking for a lot of is they want to know how to just type in one name and then it has it goes to here and it goes to here and then it goes to here as well. And this is actually a lot easier than you would think, especially in Word 2003. In Word 2007 it actually becomes even easier. So I'm going to show you how to do this. The first thing we want to do is we want to put in a text form field. So here's my forms box and we get this simply by right clicking here and then there's forms. So here's forms and I'm going to put this here and then that's all I need to do and this is inserted here. But what I need to do is I need to come here and double click on this and now that this is double clicked I just need to make sure that this is set up so I'll just name this name one and then you want to click calculate on exit <clears throat> and that's all you really need to do for this okay for this to get these to populate more than this one area what we need to do is we need to do a reference so we're going to type in ref and then name one okay now what we do then is we highlight this and just do a simple control hold down the control key and then tap the F9 key and there you go and that's all we need to do and we can do the same thing here okay we can say ah. and then the same here as well and then I'll just highlight these control F9 control F9 okay and then what we have to do is we have to protect our form so we click protect form okay now you'll see I'll type in here I'll just do like Michael Phelps and then when we hit the tab key you'll see that it fills in all the rest of them so that's how quick and easy it is so this is Michael Langdon I'm the learning engineer and just learned how to populate multiple fields in Word 2003. Next will be Word 2007. So the first thing I'm going to show you now how to do the same thing that I did last time in Microsoft Office 2007, Microsoft Word 2007. And just to show you, I got this information from this web page, so gregmaxi.mvps.org forward slash repeating underscore data dot htm. So if you need more information you can go to that website, this website. So let's start by opening up a Word document. There's a blank document. Let's go there. And let's just say I want to do something like student name and then we'll say employee name and it's going to be the same person. And then maybe we'll say like a letter dear dear so and so semicolon we would like you Mr. so-and-so to attend our banquet in your honor so now we want to fill all those with a field and we only want to have to type in one under student name and then it's going to populate the rest of those and this is fairly simple you just make your insertion point is there come to where it says insert go to where it says quick parts document property and comments okay 
And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to actually come over here to Developer. And you can see that we have Design Mode, Properties, and we need to go into Design Mode, and we need to go into Properties. So we want to click on Design Mode, click on Properties, and I'm just going to change this to Student Name. And then click OK. And then if you wanted to change this part in here, you can. Uh, you can either get rid of it, or I believe I can put in brackets name, like that. And then if you want then this to repeat throughout, you would simply copy and paste this. So I'm just going to go Control-C, and then I'm going to put one here. No, that's not it. Sorry. I don't know why that isn't working properly. But instead what I can do is I can just go and hold down and then hold the control key down and you can see that'll do a copy. So it's going to copy one to there. It's going to copy one to here. And then I'll get rid of this line here. Oh, it didn't copy one to there. Hold on. There we go. Now it copied one to there. And I guess we'll get rid of this one. And then we should be able to copy one to here. Okay. So now if we get rid of design mode, we should be able to just click in here, type in your name. And then when we hit the tab key, it should insert the rest to where we want them. And it's that easy. So if you have no further questions, uh, but if you do, of course, you can just ask them on the web page or the YouTube page that this uh, video will be on. Thanks, and I'm Michael Langdon. Have a good day. Bye.